Hey there. Hope you're having a good day. Um, congruent triangles have congruent corresponding sides and congruent corresponding angles. And what that means is that the sides that match up or correspond to each other um, are, have the same measure. So if, um, pretend like this triangle here, this side measurement were 8, um, this is congruent to this side, so this would also be 8. And the congruent corresponding angles, um, say like this is 20 degrees, um, that means this would have the same measurement. Um, it would also be 20 degrees. So there's ways of marking triangles to tell people that they're congruent. And the way we do that is um, for angles, we mark them with these little curve type things, and with sides, we mark them with um, lines like that. So, um, so for this side, so this side is correspond um, is congruent with this side. And the way I I indicate that is I put a line here, and then I put one line here also. I'm I'm in a sense naming the sides. I'm calling this um, one, let's say side one, and that means I'm going to give this the same name. Um, it's one slash like that. Same thing with. Uh, these two lines, uh, we're not putting a one here, or if, let's see, if I were to, how can I explain this? If if I were to put one slash there and one slash here, I would be saying that this side is congruent with this side, which is which is not true for these triangles. Um, this side here is different from this side, so I'm going to mark it with two slashes to indicate that it's, that's a different side, the, the measurement of it is different. But I'm also going to put two slashes over here on this corresponding side, uh, which indicates that the measurement of this side is the same as the measurement of this side. They're congruent sides. Okay, so I'm naming this with two slashes. So this two slashes matches up with this two slashes. And then this thir third side has a different length from the other two sides of this triangle. So I'm not going to name it one slash, and I'm not going to name it two slashes. I'm going to name it three slashes. And, but to indicate that this side is congruent with this side, I'm also going to name this three slashes. And the same same thing works with the angles. Um, if I want to say that this angle is congruent to this angle, uh, here's my one curve, and then I'm also calling this one curve. Um, this angle has a different measurement from this angle, so I'm not going to call it one curve, I'm going to call it two curves, but I'm, I'm going to write two curves over here to say that this angle and this angle are congruent. They have the same measurement. And then um, if I need to use a different um, name, I go up to the three curves like that. Um, I could, if I've got all the same angle on something, like say like I've got a rectangle, I would say, um, that's kind of a bad example. I'd probably just say right, right angle, right angle. And you indicate that in a special way with a box, not like a curve. But uh, let's say, uh, We've got an equilateral triangle. I could say this angle is congruent with this angle and congruent with this angle. They're, they all have the same measurement like that. With these two, um, uh, yeah, they kind of look like right triangles to me. Um, there's The angles have three different measurements. So we give them three different names, but then we match them up um, like this. Uh, here I've got two congruent triangles that are pointed in a different way, um, pointed in two different directions. But the markings indicate which sides and which angles match up with what. So um, this says that this angle has the same measurement as this angle. This angle has a different measure, f measure from this angle, but it's got the same measure as this angle. And this side has the same length as this side. So, And you might see it like this, where only a few of the angles and sides are marked. Um, I know that... Uh, these um, these angles are congruent, and these angles are congruent, and the side in between them is congruent. And uh, as you'll see in in um, with other rules in geometry, you'll be able to actually figure out that these two triangles are congruent just based on the fact that they have two congruent um, angles, and the side in between side in between them is congruent as well. Uh, but in any case, I just want to highlight the fact that you might only have a few of the angles or sides marked, and you should be able to figure out whether the the entire triangle is congruent or whether they just have a few congruent parts.